It became very extraordinary matter, matter to suddenly do your own thinking, realizing how many times what I'd been thinking was happening in the society, which society didn't think was happening, how many times I'd really been right. Yeah. And so I began to, that gave me some courage to think about my, my own, doing my own thinking. I think we ought to be looking into what needs to, be, what's my experience teach me needs to be done, which if attended to properly can bring success for all humanity, and if left unattended might find all humanity in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in real trouble. What are the things that nobody else is attending to? Because they're too big. I saw all the great nations, all the political systems were dividing up, 150 nations are dividing up about one eighth of the earth, which is propitious for support of life. They were looking out for themselves. Nobody's looking out for the total spaceship Earth. Humans have been invented and they've been put on the spaceship. And what, here are the resources and this is the cumulative know-how. How do we use that know-how to take care of all the people on board in a proper manner? I'm so overwhelmed by the designing competence of the universe that can design a human being where you and I have the slightest idea how to design ourselves. All this thing is so overwhelmingly exciting when you began to do your own thinking that it really launched me on a, a, on a pattern that where I found myself in a 50-year, half-century commitment to, if possible, employ the advanced science which is going only into weaponry to do more with less so that you might sometime take care, do so much with so little you might be able to take care of everybody and make all of politics invalid. What they have always had the working assumption it has to be you or me. Obviously, I'm not going to get anywhere asking people to listen to me. That's just exactly when they don't listen. That's one of the things I really have learned. Mm -hmm. The only way I think I can ever be effective on behalf of human beings is that if you're doing your own thinking, to realize the way you and I are designed, the way you and I behaved, is completely the consequence of the environment we find ourselves in. We're in a biosphere. If we went outside of our biosphere, you'd immediately freeze to death or burn up. <laughs> so I said, the way we behave is then this environmental control. And so I said, any way in which you and I alter using principles that are operative in the universe, which our minds were able to discover, to alter the environmental conditions for humanity, to make it more favorable for the survival of humanity, this would make, bring about a spontaneous behavior. If I build a bridge where there's a roaring gorge, where there's life support on the other side of the roaring gorge, and people have been risking their lives trying to swim across the gorge to get mm -hmm. to society. If I build a bridge, I don't have to say anything. Everybody just uses the bridge. So that I would commit myself then to producing artifacts and not trying to reform the human beings, but to, re to take part in nature's own evolutionary reforming of her own environment by virtue of using these tools. So I was then committing myself to try to do something for all humanity in 10 years with tools and not by any political persuasion. I was completely apolitical. I said, all right, this means that I'm going to need a great deal of capital capability, machinery, resources to produce the tools and then certainly in quantities that are going to affect all humanity. Mm -hmm. And so the, one of the commitments then was to employ the most advanced science that was only going into weaponry <coughs> and to apply to the home front to see if we couldn't do so much with so little in the environment of the, of the life mm -hmm. that uh, you might be able to take care of everyone. And that did end up in, in the geodesic structures, which do do vastly more in the way of environment control than any other form of structure in the universe. In fact, it's such an important form that you find the protein shell of all the viruses with the DNA, RNA control of life are inside geodesic spheres mm -hmm. as a protein shell. So nature is using this most, for the most precious information control. Keeping track of the, all the ways we do more with less and converting that into technology, particularly with the home environment, I was able to say 10 years ago, it is now clearly in evidence from an engineering design viewpoint that using only proven technology, using only metals that have already been mined that are recirculating, within a 10-year design revolution, we can have all humanity living the highest standard of living anybody's ever known, during which, and this would be completely sustainable, because during that 10 years, 
We can phase out all further use of fossil fuels and atomic energy. We can live entirely on our energy income. So I realized that we might be crossing a threshold where instead of just it had to be you or me in a battle of power and might see who's going to live and who's going to die, it might be that the principle would make it possible to make everybody successful. The, the latter be uh, the, the former. We didn't, but yet we didn't know about those principles earlier. The right. former being on the idea of scarcity, right. that there was a condition of scarcity, and that we that, would be coming to a moment of a realization of a surplus capability right. that had been introduced through our metaphysical. If we really use the resources in an intelligent way, always in principle, and not just for mm -hmm. me. Yeah. If, if then mm -hmm. instead of parting for me for right. my survival, yes, uh -huh. we really looked into the synergy, which is the yeah. principle operating between systems I spoke yes. about with mm -hmm. the mind and the mind alone yes. can discover, where we discover these are behaviors of whole systems unpredicted by the behaviors of the part, right, like the gravity mm -hmm. of the moon and earth. So, so I can see that only if we really be, begin to operate together and probably those principles mm -hmm. could we really possibly make man a success, and I began to look into that matter and saw that we didn't know how to fly and do a lot of these things very well, but we were assuming that there's not enough ground, so we were doing only a tackling science for war or how are you going to kill to see which one is going to do, do survive.